Hi, I'm Jim Mott with SJ2 in Wapalo, Iowa, and uh, I'm excited to be a sponsor of the Illawa FCA Fall Preview. A young bunch of Burlington Greyhounds faced the 2013 season with a game plan in place to make a major jump up the max standings after a 3-6 and six campaign last year. And certainly some of the great starting points are up front on the defensive side of the ball, plus having Nick Pearson back at quarterback. Well, we're excited. I mean, we've got, I think, a lot of depth within our uh, receiver core and our quarterback, Nick Pearson, coming back, I think is an exciting prospect for us, and it's nice to have some depth there. So I, I, I think we're able to do some different things on the field with the guys that we have, but our issue is going to be up front. I mean, it's kind of been historic for us. We're a little thin at the offensive line and defensive line positions, so we're going to have to play smart, going to have to try to rotate when we can. So it'll be, it'll be an interesting first couple weeks until everybody can get back on their feet. And honestly, too, with what the weather is, too, I mean, uh, the fourth quarter's got to be a real concern just because it's going to be so draining out there. You know? Well, and the good thing about it is it's the same weather for everybody. Yeah. So it's the, it's the team that's going to be able to conquer the heat and the humidity the best that's going to be able to do it. And so I'm sure everybody's trying to figure out how to practice, how to get water, you know, how to do all those things and have your kids be effective in that time. Well, you'd probably love to have 50 guys tripping over each other out here, but you're a guy who embraces his players and who wants to, uh, the guys that want to be out here. Yeah. Those are the ones you have. Well, you know, I was, I, I was just talking about feeling a little bit like Gideon's Army. You know, we, you know, we had a, a bunch of guys at the beginning of the off season and then through a series of things, you know, we're down to about 42 guys and um, you know, there's a lot of schools that are in our conference that have played with less than 40. And of course, our team that we're facing on Friday has been historic to be under 40 and still been competitive. And so we kind of feel like that. We feel like we've got some kids that can play with that kind of intensity and that kind of emotion for four quarters. So, you know, we're excited. We're kind of, we kind of want to kind of get to Friday and see what we got. We got to be on task because even though we may know already what we have to do, we just got to still be there to show leadership and show show that we're actually here to work because we didn't get these spots just handed to us so mm -hmm. it's very important to keep these spots maintained and show other people to come hard play work you'll get a spot your own as you face the season how big a deal is um, uh, experience for you knowing your way around that varsity field uh, you just like last year you gotta you gotta feel for how it is so really ain't gonna change so you just know that you got to go out there do the same things if not better to get better results. I sense that our guys are gonna step it up and fill the holes. I feel like our team doesn't even notice there's holes there because so many kids have stepped up to fill the spots. It all starts fresh for the Burlington Greyhounds with an opening night challenge taking on the Assumption Knights, one of the favorites in the MAC, and certainly the Greyhounds embrace that challenge. Oh, you're going to get intensity. I mean, I always love playing them first because it's a good measuring stick of who we are and what we need to do and what we need to accomplish as we go through the next eight weeks. And so I'm excited about that. And, you know, I think they're about as young as we are. Uh, they, I think they return only four starters and, you know, we only return four starters and they're always going to have quality kids and we're going to have to just continue to battle and it'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun matchup and like I said earlier, it'll be that team that is able to withstand the heat, humidity and be able to get through that mentally. Uh, without making any mistakes. No game in the max is an easy win for us, so with any team, we'll be ready to go out and play, but we know it's assumption a pretty good team, so we're going to come out ready to fight and fight hard. What's a great year for you guys, do you think? Hey, success is going to the playoffs at least, and going. For, uh, we want to go real deep, really deep into the playoffs this year. We believe we got the personnel to do that, so I think that's what success is for our team. This is kind of the area with the FCA when I was visiting, too. Talk about that part, how it's going, and uh, what your hopes are for the school year this year. Well, we just had an organizational meeting last Monday we're trying to get things set up and so we're gonna have our big kickoff the Monday after Labor Day and you know we're, we're praying and expecting uh, big things to happen and we're just uh, numbers again is not the biggest issue it's gonna be uh, people in their heart issue and you know I think there's kids who are searching for a lot of things mm -hmm. so we're excited for the opportunity and we'll just see where God takes us. Hey Greyhound athletes, coaches, family, friends, and community, we have got Fellowship of Christian Athletes on your campus. You can connect with Coach Flaherty to get plugged in with FCA here, or if you're looking for more information, you can check out our two websites at www.fca.org or illawafca.org. Guys, 